Okay, so let's make some Copper River sockeye salmon. This is a broiled sockeye salmon recipe that we've made in my family for many, many years and I can't wait to cook it with you. Uh, what I have in front of me is cumin, our smoked salmon rub, uh, olive oil, sea salt, and dill. The cumin and the dill are optional if you want, but the salmon rub, the olive oil, and the salt I strongly recommend. So what I have in front of me is a whole Copper River sockeye salmon filet. You can make this with our wild Calgon Island salmon too as well but let's get it started. So the first thing I like to do is take some olive oil and put it on the fish. Uh, some people like to actually rub it in. I'm just gonna put it on there. A little bit over here. And I'd already had um, rinsed and patted the fish down before I started the recipe, just to let you know. With all seafood, that's what we recommend doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna rub in. Excellent. Next, I like to add our smoked salmon rub. It's a really nice, sweet, smoky flavor to the salmon. I like to liberally apply it, so I cover it. It is a fantastic seasoning and it just really enhances the flavor of the salmon. So this little ramekin I filled with about, I don't know, 10% of a bottle of our smoked salmon rub. Okay. Fantastic. So next I'm gonna add some, a little bit of salt. Good. And then I like to add some dill. And a little bit of cumin. I think cumin pairs well with a lot of salmon. Fantastic, so now it's ready to head into the broiler. We cook anywhere from six to 10 minutes our salmon in the broiler. It's gonna really depend on the thickness of the salmon. So you could have a really thick piece of sockeye and a small piece of silver and you'd wanna cook the sockeye longer. The key to broiling is, is you don't want to have it cook all the way through while it's in the broiler. When you take it out of the oven, it's gonna continue cooking. You'll notice when we take it out, it's gonna really be sizzling a lot. So. Traditionally on sockeye and silver salmon, I go six to eight minutes, and on king salmon, I go eight to 10 minutes. And I would pull it out like the first two minutes uh, that you think it could be done. So that by that I mean, if it's an eight to 10 minute recipe on king, I would look at it at about eight minutes in. If it's a six to eight minute recipe on sockeye, I would look at it after about six minutes. Okay, great, so we have the salmon seasoned, now we're gonna put it in the oven. I've had it on high broil, preheated, and it's ready to go. Here we go. So I'm gonna set a timer for six minutes. Okay, great, our timer just went off uh, for six minutes. Let's take a look at this. It smells fantastic. You can tell your fish is getting done because it starts to really smell amazing around the kitchen. And a lot of times you'll see a lot of steam come out of your uh, broiler too. So the key of this is, is you don't want your fish to be completely cooked when you pull it out because it's still cooking, because it was so hot in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open it up a little bit so you can see what it looks like here on the tail portion of it. And so the tail there is completely cooked. Now the thicker part of it is gonna still cook for the next couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. So great, there you have it. One of our family's um, dishes we've made for many, many years, which is a broiled uh, salmon. I did a, a Copper River sockeye salmon. We had some olive oil to it, some of our smoked salmon rub, some dill, sea salt, and a little bit of cumin. It is absolutely fantastic. We cooked it on a high broil for six minutes. If you had a thicker piece of salmon, you could cook it for up to eight minutes. If you had king salmon, I would start out at eight minutes, cook it up to 10 minutes, but always go on the side of caution with the broiler because it will still cook even after it's out of the oven.